and his supers look absolutely brilliant. I'm just gonna do the pose again. I'm ready. For, I'm ready for the pose. All he needs is a little hat. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. There's really only one thing that you have to do before you start a fighting game, and it's not the tutorial, it's not hanging out with other people who play fighting games, it's not going to events where fighting games are being played, it's you gotta choose a character. So here we are on the character select menu, and as you can see, when the game launches, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 characters built in, plus there are more coming in the download pass, which is basically extremely common for almost all games. If you only really want to play your one character, and they're here, then obviously you don't need to buy the DLC. One of the greatest things about Grand Blue Fantasy, Psy Games in general, is the incredible, incredible character art. So I'm really taken with Zeta, but other than Zeta, there are plenty of other really awesome characters, and they all look really great, but I'm just gonna quickly show you Zeta. what I know with Zeta. I think the main thing about Zeta is, one, she looks great, I mean, just check out this style. What kind of outfit is this? But she's also got a lance, right? She's not a sword character. She's not a gun character. It seems like the sort of character that you could poke your enemy from far away. I, it, I think she actually can't really poke from that far away. You still have to get fairly close to the enemy. I've also got a fireball. That goes like full screen, so as long as I'm fast enough. I mean, it takes a little while to start up, but it does, it does cover the whole full screen, so I can annoy people from far away. I guess two things that I prioritize when I'm trying to choose a new character, and I'm not a professional when, I, when it comes to choosing like the top tier characters and the strongest characters in the game for winning tournaments. I just choose them, one, based on what they look like, if I think they're interesting and fun, I mean their voice. If you don't like their voice, you have to listen to them say certain things at least a hundred times every five minutes. So the character has to look good, they have to sound good, and they have to play in a way that I feel is fun. I basically never choose characters that are big, hulking, and slow. For now, I'm looking for a character that's fun to move around, fun to press buttons with, has cool moves, has maybe a cool super move. Let's see what a super move is. So her main super move is she dashes forward with the lance. I think she's got another super move. Yes! It's so good! I like that you're not even looking at her face for most of, for the end of that super. You're just standing behind her and she's just going full force with that lance. She's just like, yo! <laughs> I'm shoving it up now. And when it comes to movement, I like the fact that she can dash around. I don't like the input though, because you have to like dash like this. And then if it hits again, you dash you can dash forward and then dash backwards if you if maybe it was like unsafe and you want to get out of there. You can dash up. Like that. You can dash diagonally, I think. You can go like that. I think you can actually dash three times. Yeah, how cool is that? So movement on the screen, even if it's not for being fantastic at fighting games, it just has to look cool and feel fun to do. The other move that she's got that's really bizarre is she's got like a pogo stick. So if I, I guess this is called a pogo stick move. If I jump up in the air and I press down special, she actually does like this pogo move, which is hilarious looking. But you can like pogo on your opponent's head. Now Chun Li's got a move a bit like this. She doesn't have a stick, obviously. She just does it with her feet. But it's a very similar input. You press down when you're in the air, and you can actually do it three times. Apart from that, she's just got her standard three-hit combos. Every character has got basically three move buttons, and they've also got this shortcut button, which does special moves for you, and they've also got a unique action, and this is her first unique action. She starts, like, poking them with the spear. But I think you can, like, mash this. So if you just mash it, you can go up to 15 hits. Now, in addition to the fact that I can, like, dash right at my enemy like this, I can also dash from the air. So if I press down, down when I'm in the air, down, down at a button, so up, down, down button, like that, I, like, swoop down on the enemy. Any character that can dash down from the sky, that's a character that I'm gonna enjoy playing. So Zessa can actually do a dash straight down. She can do it at an angle, and she's got a sort of EX version of it as well. That goes a little faster, does a bit more damage, I guess. Oh, no way! And so after the dash, you can continue with the- Oh, brilliant. So I can do the dash on the ground and follow up with more dashes. 
or I can do it from the sky. And you can do it three times? <laughs> so this is brilliant. Hold on a second. Let's go up in the sky. Ha! You can like miss and then come back on the other direction. I don't know what it is about the speed of her buttons. I just feel like she can't get them out at the speed that I need her to do them. If I press down, down, attack on the ground, I've got this sort of dragon punch style move. She's also got like a counter. If, if someone hits me while I'm doing this, I can follow up with other attacks after that. I do this knee up into the sky. Can I follow up after? I bet I can follow up after that. Like dashing after this. Oh! <laughs> so after this armor move, you can like follow up with the pogo stick. I'm sure that there's a bunch of really cool combos that can be done with Zeta. I'm gonna, I haven't looked up any of the combo videos, so I still don't really know what she does. I'm just getting the general feel for what she's like. But now you know kind of what it looks like in battle. Now I'm gonna be realistic about this. In this one video, I don't think I can try out every single character and do them complete justice. But what I can do is maybe try a few and see if I've got an alternative that I like more than Zeta so far. So we've tried Gran, obviously in RPG mode, and I've now played Zeta as well. I played her last night at the Red Bull gaming event that was happening in Tokyo. But apart from that, I haven't really tried any other characters apart from Catalina, who I played a little bit in the open beta last year, and Ferry. And I remember I really enjoyed Ferry because she's, <laughs> it's, it's really strange, but in Street Fighter, I don't like characters that, I don't like playing characters that hit from really far away and have like a whip that you can just hit the, zone the enemy from far away. But for some reason when I try other games, like my brain switches modes and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I wanna play a zoning character. The first character here on the list is Ferry. The only thing I know about her is that she's got a whip. Gran, the main character who we've seen in previous videos. Lancelot, who I think looks really cool. He doesn't fight with just the one dagger. I think he's got like two daggers. And because I play Ibuki, some people have told me that I might enjoy Lancelot. Percival looks Fantastic. Pretty much every move that Percival does has like fire effects and it looks really, really cool. Catalina, I think she's a standard looking <laughs> sword character. From what I've seen so far, it's not like she has any super cool effects or anything, but she is just a great looking all-rounder character, I guess. Now here's a character that looks really interesting. In addition to being fantastically good looking. She also has a really interesting way of moving around in this game that other characters don't seem to be able to do. I mean, Zeta, she does have that dash, but she's still moving around kind of slowly. But Metera, she's like floating half the time. And then she can do these like speed dashes, like where she like jumps up into the air. She feels like she's from Guilty Gear or Under Night Inbirth. I'm so interested in all the characters. This never happens. It never happens when a new game comes out and I find every character looks interesting. By not having too large a roster, they've managed to really concentrate on having extremely clear identities for all these characters and how they all really gel well together. Look at this, look at this character select stream, just the art style just gels them together perfectly. Even though one of them's like a giant hulking mass and some of them are furries, it's just too exciting. I'm, I'm just too excited. I think the next character I really want to try is Percival. So all I know is that a bunch of his moves have fire that come out of them. And there it is. Look at those fire effects. They look so good. And what's really great is they don't look like 3D effects coming out of a 2D character. They look like 2D flames coming out of a 2D character. I'm gonna use the special button to figure out what his specials look like. He's got normal special, which is the fireball. He's got forward special, which is some sort of dragon punch. He's got down special, this is maybe a boost. Oh, check it out. He's got a unique mechanic you can see underneath his health bar. It says number four now. And every time I press down special, it charges it up. And then back special is a dash, which is nice because in this game, it feels like not everyone has a, a super way of getting in fast. It's maybe some of them do and some of them don't. It is so weird playing a game where special moves, you have to wait for them to recover. But that is what makes it a little bit more like an RPG. And let's check out his unique actions. I'm gonna press the U button. What was that? Knocks them over, but it doesn't actually take any health. I'll look that up. And now we have to try out the supers. So let's go for the standard super. I love the way he holds his sword like a pool cue. And let's do the super super. <laughs> That's not what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> I thought he was gonna do what Zeta does. I thought he was just gonna skewer his enemy with that long sword and instead a tornado appears. Gonna watch that again. It's 
seems standard, right? Throw in the air, and he's just like, I'm gonna hit you! No, here comes a tornado! And then you're gonna die as I'm doing a pose. Uh-oh. I quite like this guy. What about his normal attacks? Standard. 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 So his unique action doesn't cause any damage, but you can follow up with other attacks. Right, okay. So it's just a really useful throw because I guess I guess in this game and like most games, I don't think you can really like do a throw and then do a super afterwards. Actually that's not true. Lots of anime fighting games do that. What am I saying? Now this is one of the best features of this game, is that the tutorial, or rather the command list in this game, actually has running video showing you what these moves actually look like. That is so so thoughtful. I've actually mentioned this in the open beta because this was already functioning in the open beta. But even for someone like me who's been playing a lot of fighting games for a little while now, I go into the command list and I'm just like, what is Raising Burging Ultra Flame? I mean, I can kind of imagine what it is, but I have no idea what the actual move is, right? But now with video, it just shows you. Oh, a move that shoots fire out. That looks like that could be useful. Oh, a move where he rises into the sky with a flaming sword. That could be useful. A dash! I like to get in. Oh, you can follow up with buttons. So after the dash. Alright. <laughs> so cool. Oh man. Do I play Percival? It's very tempting. The <laughs> sword is so long. So unnecessary. Charge up. So this makes my ability stronger. So you can charge up these icons. You can have one, two, you can charge up all of them at the same time. You can have a maximum of five, right? And if you do an ability after that, it just uses one icon. So I could be over here in the corner, charging these icons up. And then when I go and do my attack, instead of doing 1200, it'll do 1350. The question is, do I have the patience to stuck up these these power things? Because these are clearly important. This man is firepower. And you want to make sure that you're using it. He looks cool. I like the way that he moves. He's got this dash, which is super nice, which you can go into other things like this. And his supers look absolutely brilliant. I'm just gonna do the pose again. I'm ready for, I'm ready for the pose. All he needs is a little hat. Okay, I think the next character we have to try is the character that I think a lot of people were worried was going to be a problem. So what I'm hoping with Charlotte is that she's going to be a bit like, you know you waited all the way to the end of episode 2 to see Yoda and Count Dooku have a lightsaber battle? I'm hoping that that's what this is going to be like. So first of all, she feels much faster than other members of the cast. <laughs> but that might just be because, because she's small, she has to traverse further to cover the same amount of distance. Anyway, let's try out her normal combos. All right, what are her specials? Let's do normal special. Her normal special is a two hit combo. And it drops them right in front of you, which is nice for pressure. After that, you can do more moves. She's got a forward special. <laughs> Doesn't Blanca have a move like this? And she's got a down special. Ah, I heard about this. I saw this on Twitter. They call this the Demon Flip. Now this is probably because it's called the Demon Flip when Akuma does it in Street Fighter. But I, if I'm if it, if it is a Demon Flip, that means that she can follow up with other moves, right? Let's try with let's try following up like that. Okay, so she can choose to dash down on the enemy. Whoa! If you press nothing, she just comes down and trips them up. So it literally is exactly like Akuma's Demon Flip in Street Fighter. Let me just try and see if I can hit him in the air with this dash. Yep, so dash from above. It's like, am I coming from above? Or am I coming from below? Your enemy just has to be ready for both. Do, can I throw afterwards? She does! <laughs> she does! She has a throw. Oh no. Oh no, this character is going to be too good. Hold on a second. So let me try it. Press down special and then circle. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's so awesome. So I'm assuming you can't block against this. Okay, he's gonna guard everything. So, no matter what I do, he's gonna block it. But, he can't! Brilliant! So, if you can get your opponent to think that they should just hold back, or they should crouch and block, then you can jump in and you can be like, I'm gonna throw you. 
<laughs> I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yes. So she's very mobile. I absolutely love that aspect. We've tried down special. Let's try back special. What is this? If you do the light version, then they don't end up very far away from you. You can continue attacking afterwards. I, I don't think you can do a combo afterwards, but it's just like the enemy's right there, then you can go in and do more attacks after that. This version that's stronger does more damage, but then your enemy ends up a little further away from them. You've got to run up and, and do more attacks. Now we just get to see the supers. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty standard. Let's get Blanca super. And let's do the ultra super. I don't know what's really cool. I've, I've just not really been paying attention to the f footage on Twitter, so I haven't even seen the end of the super. I knew she does, I knew she would do the big, the big sword thing, but I didn't know she like turns around at the end. She was just like, swing, and then, you know, it's, it's very samurai. She's like, she's a very mixed up character, but she's, I'm just going to watch it again. Yeah, I love that. She turned around, swing, and the moment she does it, it's almost like she's Activating their death. Oh, she's a charge character. That explains it. Okay. Oh, but because the game is so all right because the game moves quite slowly Even by the end of this target combo You can actually finish up with these charge moves <laughs> You've actually got enough energy you've actually got enough time during your combos to charge up other other buttons Nice I think it may take me some time to get used to these moves, but I can definitely see the power of this character. But there's so many more characters, let's go back to the character select screen and check them out.